Okay, now that we set up our machine and connected it to Wi-Fi, we are going to look at our onboarding email. And I see here that we have a username and a password. So we are going to go into vapetm.vapebendingsoftware.com. We're going to type in the username. It's all lowercase. And then we are going to type in our password, which is case sensitive. We're going to accept hit OK. And now we will go into our products. You will see that there's a master product library with hundreds, if not thousands of images and vapes. We're going to decide what we want. and we are going to obtain them and hit confirm. We'll put our internal cost price in, which has no functionality other than to calculate your internal costs. And we will do that on several products. Here's our mobile juice battery bank. Here's our RAS DC 25,000. And our most popular is the Geek Bar Pulse 15K, which costs $9. And our Geek Bear Pulse 25K, I think I put nine in there before, but I think it's 1050. So here we obtained some products. If we wanna add a new product, we will go into product list. We will hit add. We will type in our product and we'll add our picture. To add a picture, the best way to do it is go to Google, type in our product, go to images, find the product with the box, go to a cropping or a snipping tool, and tightly crop the image so there's not a lot of white space. Save the image. as a PNG. And now upload the image like that and hit confirm. And now that's an option. We're gonna go to our machines. You will see the machine number ending in 0009, which is that IMEI serial number of the machine, which is on the inside of the door. I will go into aisle goods. I will now select my products. I can type as well and it'll populate. If you want to take a shortcut, you could do one. Age restriction 21, I recommend putting even if you're not using age verification. Maximum inventory. And current stock and I want to be alerted when that one gets to two I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit copy I'm gonna hit one click paste it's gonna make every aisle the same and now I simply just select my other vapes
and change some prices and hit confirm. If I need to enable a bill acceptor, I would just want to change this to yes and change that to BB20 and hit confirm. But as default, it'll already configure to the card reader that you have. I'm gonna go into Shit. 